Hello Adirondack Soaring Group. This is a short tutor tutorial on the open glider network devices that we're putting into the club ships. On over here we have the tracker device itself. Uh, this is currently transmitting and receiving signals from two other trackers I have uh, to demonstrate here. And also the sky view device. There's nothing you really need to do with the tracker. It will turn on when you plug the glider's battery in and of course disconnect when you take the glider's battery out. The Skyview device uh, is linked to the specific tracker. You cannot share these between gliders and you can see the registration number of each glider or tow plane in this case printed at the bottom. Tow planes are in red, gliders are in green and uh, 5.4, the 102 is a black case Skyview. Uh, currently the Skyview is in off mode or sleep mode. Um, you can see the little sleepy face here. There are four buttons on the side. The top powers on and powers off the device and switches mode. There's a zoom out and in button and then a reset button at the bottom. I would suggest ignoring the fourth button down. Just use the top three. Now the display is e-ink uh, or e-paper which means that whether the device is on off or even if the battery is flat you'll still see uh, something on the display so please make sure that the uh, device is charged up and functioning by pressing some of the buttons to see the screen change so to turn the device on just press the top button the device will boot up and you can see that this device has connected to the tracker here because I have a data box at the top right hand corner that says NMEA so it's receiving NMEA strings from the device so that's the GPS activity um, and flyme activity uh, being communicated if this says UNK or unknown then there's problems connecting please get with myself or Garrett who will help uh, get the device connected but when you boot up it should connect automatically no problems you can see that this is detecting one aircraft already and there's a large arrow on the center of the screen uh, the large arrow meaning that it is a threat to us and we need to take uh, visual attention a small arrow would mean that the target is picked up but is not a direct threat it's probably too high or too low to worry about the scale here is one nautical mile so you can see that each ring represents one nautical mile away from my position. And the battery life here is at 4.1 volts. The battery should operate down to 3.7 volts and then the device will probably just hibernate. Uh, but these devices are very efficient and will last for days on a single charge. Charging takes about an hour, hour and 30. And there are charges in the hangar near where the glider batteries are stored. Please, please, please unplug these at the end of the day and put them on charge. So you can see right now I'm picking up one other aircraft. <coughs> I can use the buttons here, button two and button three, to zoom in. So press the bottom button. It will take me to a scale of a half nautical mile. Pressing the second button down, or the top of the zoom buttons, then takes me back out to one nautical mile, two and a half nautical miles, five nautical miles, and so on. If I press the top button, this will change the mode, moving away from the radar screen to a text representation of that traffic. So you can see I have traffic one of one in my ahead position. It's zero nautical miles out at the same altitude. It will tell me the course of that other glider and the ground speed of that other glider as well. Right now these devices are just sitting uh, on the deck here. Uh, so it's not really telling me a lot of information. It's also picked up a second traffic. It's also picked up second traffic and buttons two and three allow me to scroll between those two targets. Now the device will always put the most threatening or the closest target in position one and then you would scroll down to position to glider two glider three and so on 
and then scroll up or move up, back up the stack to gliders two and glider one. Pressing the mode button again will take you back to the radar screen. To turn the device off, you simply press and hold the top button until you see the sleepy face screen once more and the device is now turned off. It's not consuming any battery life, even though you will see something on the display. Remember that this is e-ink and that will stay on the display whether there's a battery connected or not until such a time as the device receives another command to change that e-ink display and show a different view. Thank you.